It's Thursday, November 2nd, and after the avalanche of press Halo phones like the Apple iPhone X and Samsung Galaxy S8 get, it's sometimes easy to overlook some other great phones out there that cost a whole lot less and still do most of the things those super spendy handsets can do. We just got through reviewing the quite capable HTC U11 Life device, which is a slightly smaller, slightly lighter, and a bit less expensive version of the new U11. While the U11 Life makes do without the currently fashionable bezel-less screen thing, it does boast a true HD LCD display that gets the job done. Inside, there's three gigs of RAM, a Snapdragon 630 ticker, and 32 gigs of space. There's also a micro SD slot for up to two more terabytes of storage if and when such a thing ever gets made. It runs on Android 7.1 with HTC's Sense interface stretched tightly over the top. There's also a 16 megapixel rear camera. Like a lot of new phones, it doesn't have a headphone jack, but HTC does include a set of noise-canceling USB-C earbuds in the box, so that's a nice touch. Price? Just 350 bucks. Quite a bargain, really. Check out our full review at the link. Okay, supercar fans, it's finally here. Hennessy's follow-up to the iconic and record-holding Venom GT, and it's called the Venom F5. Screaming yellow is probably a good choice of colors for the crazy car from Texas, which is packing 1,600 horsepower under the hood. Why so much juice? Well, why not? America. But really, Hennessy is hoping all those ponies will help the F5 break their own 270 mile per hour speed record, and maybe even get it past the now magical 300 mile an hour mark, something no production car has really come close to. So is it a hybrid, all wheel drive, affordable? No, no, and that depends on what you call affordable. The F5 is powered solely by a twin turbocharged V8, which routes all that power to the rear wheels only. And while other supercars cost a lot more than the F5's $1.6 million price tag, none will likely be able to touch it in terms of speed, which includes going from zero to 186 miles an hour in under 10 seconds. Yeah, it's sort of fast. They're only making 24 of them, so you might wanna reserve yours now. Attention all cord cutters. If you've been looking for a streaming option that includes all the good stuff, the new Roku Streaming Stick Plus is about as good as it gets. Here it is in all its low profile glory. Yep, it's pretty much just a stick thing you plug into your TV. But once it's powered up, you'll be glad you spent all of $70 on it, as the specs include 4K HDR video, surround sound decoding, including Dolby Atmos, a slick and speedy interface, and all your favorite apps. The remote gets an upgrade too, including automatically figuring out what TV you are using so it can control that as well. Pretty slick. DTAV Club president Caleb Dennison put on his best fall sweater for the review, so hit the link to check out all the features of the streaming stick. How do they get all that stuff in such a small package? It's amazing. And hey, we've got more amazing tech news at digitaltrends.com on our Facebook page and YouTube channel. And be sure to tune in live at 2.30 p.m. Pacific today for our roundtable tech podcast, Trends with Benefits. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.